Hi guys, welcome to another movie review, and in this video I'll be reviewing Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Now this movie came out in 2021, so almost a year ago, and it starred Simu Liu as Shang-Chi, Orkafina as Katie, uh, Meng E Zhang as Shang Ching's sister Xia Ling, Tony Lung as the main villain, and Shang Chi's father. So basically, the premise involves Shang Chi works in valet parking with his friend Katie, played by Orkafina, and then we find out all this backstory about how Shang Chi's father had actually founded the Ten Rings organization. After finding these mystical Ten Rings, he'd fallen in love with a woman who actually guarded the mythical land of Ta Lo. And basically, after she was murdered, Shang-Chi, at the age of 14, was assigned to kill her assassins. But, yeah, there's all this big backstory. Now, I love this movie, okay? I loved it. I thought the action sequences were top-notch. I thought, for example, the fight scene on the bus early on in the movie was very, very well done, I thought. I thought the cinematography in Ta Lo was excellent. This movie also starred legendary actress... Um, Michelle Yeoh, Michelle Yeoh as Shang-Chi's aunt. But yeah, very good movie. The cinematography, I thought, in Ta Lo was excellent. I thought the action sequences were very well done. So, for example, that fight scene on the bus. I also thought that, that chase scene on that scaffolding early on in the movie as well was quite well done as well. The movie had a lot of um, raw emotion, finding out about Shang-Chi's backstory and how his father had tried to make him commit murder at the age of 14. I really, yeah, I really enjoyed the backstory in this movie. The acting performances were fantastic. I thought the final showdown against those soul-sucking creatures was top-notch, very well done. That fight scene between Shang-Chi and his father at the end of the movie was very well done. A very good movie. Had a great score as well. I thought Destin Daniel Cretton did a great job on this movie. He's actually signed on to direct the fifth Avengers movie, so Avengers... I think it was Avengers the Kang Dynasty, the fifth Avengers movie, which comes out in 2025, so a long time from now. But this movie was excellent. I thought it's actually one of, I actually think it's one of the best Marvel movies. I also enjoyed the return of Ben Kingsley as Trevor Slattery, who 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 was actually one of the main characters in Iron Man 3, who we thought was the Mandarin. Turns out he wasn't, but that's for another video. Um yeah, I enjoyed the return of Ben Kingsley as Trevor Slattery from Iron Man 3. I thought the end, my only gripe of this movie, at the end it sort of feels a little bit too much like a setup. Like, it, it was a very, very good movie. The end sort of feels a little bit too much like a setup for things moving forward, I thought. But regardless, I really enjoyed this movie. It had great action sequences, great story, great backstory. Um, I was able to really sympathise with Shang-Chi, even his father, who gets tricked by the soul-sucking creatures that they're keeping his wife, Shang-Chi's mum, hostage, which turns out to not be true, but regardless, a great movie. Shame that it didn't do as well as some other Marvel movies at the box office. It made $432 million, so... Again, it was a box office success. I just don't... I just mean it wasn't a box office juggernaut the way that No Way Home was or Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was. It wasn't a huge box office juggernaut. I think part of that's largely attributed to the COVID-19 pandemic and also the fact that me, for example, I couldn't actually watch this movie in cinemas until eight weeks after it came out because of lockdown. We are in lockdown last year, and I actually saw this movie in cinemas eight weeks after it actually came out in Australia because my state was in a heavy lockdown. But regardless, a very good movie, fun, exhilarating, great action sequences, great fight scenes, good backstory, great score. My only gripe is that at the end it feels a little bit too much like a setup. I enjoyed the humour as well. I enjoyed Orkafina as the as the comic relief, and I thought Shang-Chi had some funny lines as well. So a great movie, one of my favourite Marvel movies to date. Not even joking, it's one of my top five Marvel movies to date. Maybe, or if not top five, top ten. It is a top ten Marvel movie for me. Great movie. Go check it out if you haven't seen it already. I think Destin Daniel Credden did a great job, and I'm very excited to see what he does with um, Avengers The Kang Dynasty. So thank you very much for listening, guys. All the best, and you go watch Shang-Chi. It's a great movie, great performances as well. One of my favorite Marvel movies. One of the most underrated and one of my absolute favorite Marvel movies. Take care, guys. Bye.